What's going on, everybody, and welcome on into the Stock Trends channel. We're diving into Apple here in today's video. Quickly, though, we're just taking a look across the board right now. How we finished up today in the market was red to start, and that changed dramatically, dramatically after Powell started talking after the Fed. So we got that information and stocks went crazy. Seems like uncertainty was somewhat taken out of the market going up into that. And it seemed like we saw, and we were just feeling a lot of uncertainty across the board. So with that uncertainty seemingly fading back, we have a better picture on what the Fed is going to. And if you want to learn more about what the Fed is going to do, we actually made a video over on the personal channel link down below to our personal channel, Thomas Carvo. If you guys want to go check that out, we also post videos there. Definitely check that out and consider subscribing if you haven't done so or if you are new. So here's Apple's chart right now on Finviz. I want to pull this up uh, because we are actually, look at this, as we speak, a market cap is just shy of I think $3 trillion. We're just shy of $3 trillion. We got very close uh, back earlier this week up in the 180s, and now we're set to potentially make a run back to those levels. So something to pay attention to. Uh, a recent upgrade from Bank of America went from neutral to buy with a price target of now $210 per share. So with the market getting back to the bullish side, at least as of right now, the overall market pushing up. If that continues, well, one would think that Apple should continue. The only speculation, the only downside, the only cause for concern behind this is look at Apple's chart. This is the weekly chart. So here's now pre-pandemic, right? 80 bucks per share pullback. You know, go back over the past couple of years. And yeah, we're up. We are, we're, we're up there. So even if the market continues higher, it wouldn't be out of the question to think that maybe Apple does pull back and see kind of more of a consolidation period at some point in 2022. It's somewhat of a speculation, even if the market is strong. However, if the market's strong, generally speaking, Apple's been one of those stocks to lead the way. So, you know, that that said, until that shifts or that changes, and may, that's very apparent, which we'll talk about obviously going forward, if and when we see it, Apple is still looking good. I mean, look at the volume as of late has been elevated as it's been pushing on up. Volume has been elevated. So the volume's there. If you're an options trader, this has been, you know, quite, quite the uh, the fun time for you. Ups and downs, playing both, playing the bounces, playing the reversals. Take a look at today's action too. I think it's really interesting to note. If we go back to the five minute chart here on Weeble, what's really interesting is that the support resistance levels are playing out very, very nice. Look at this. If you go back to the lows that we saw on the 14th, Compare that to the lows we saw today, we came within a couple cents of hitting those lows. So if you were to play this as for an option trade, just for a trade, you know, you had the opportunity to potentially pick up some Apple here with a risk being you, you know, Apple dropping back below yesterday's lows and going down further. And if you played that with your risk being that level, you made great money. If you got faked out in here, you know, unfortunately, that's kind of the nature of the game when it comes to the Fed. You know, we got some crazy action. But even if you use that to buy that dip, you crushed it. I mean, Apple went on a run from that dip that we saw when Powell came on to talk to the end of the day, and Apple's even pushing up in the after hours, up over 180 now. Look at this. Apple was up over 4% in a matter of a couple hours. That's pretty wild. That's pretty wild, especially for Apple. That's not a small cap stock by any means. It's almost a $3 trillion company here. $2.94 trillion, according to Weeble, as we speak right now. And speaking of Weeble, you can up to now five free stocks. The link in the pinned comment in the description box is down below. Take advantage of that. Sign up, deposit any amount, get f up to five free stocks, and then also get five bucks in free crypto. It's one of their year-end kind of bonuses. They did the same thing last year in terms of giving out tons of free stocks. So take advantage of that. Also, Moo Moo Public, all those links and resources down below. They're giving out tons of free stuff as we speak. Okay, so going up to the, the weekly chart right here, take a look at this. Here's our kind of our range. Now, we're up into the upper end of this range. So we would expect a potential area of support on Apple to be down towards the top or the top trend line here, which as we speak right now is down towards about 164, 165 over time if Apple comes down over time. So that's going to be an area to watch as support. But beyond that, below that, really good support here down towards 140 if we were to come back to that level. The 50 SMA, this blue line, Apple hasn't come anywhere near that 50 SMA on the weekly chart. Uh, let's take a look at the daily chart. Different story there. It's actually kind of messed around and dipped below a couple of times. And every time it dipped below the 50 SMA, it's been a great buy. So we're well above the 50 SMA right now on Apple. So we are overextended for sure. But if the market keeps going, 
you know, there's no say that there's no one to say, hey, Apple's got to pull back. It could certainly keep going with the market. And it seems very, very strong, especially here into the after hours. We'll see if this keeps up uh, as we speak. But key levels to watch are going to be that bounce zone that we saw today. So this 172.25 is a key level in terms of downside. In terms of upside, we have to go back to where Apple hit up to uh, earlier this week. It looks like 182. I'll draw a line there as well. It looks like 182. 11 or so was the high intraday, a little bit higher in pre-market hours. So that's kind of the key. It looks like 182 will be the key. Over that level tomorrow could be wild for, you know, move to 185 plus all-time high breakout mode for Apple. We'll see, but that's at least what we're watching right now on Apple. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like always, links and resources down below. Those five free stock, Webull, bunch of free stock with Moomoo, Public, M1 Finance, you name it. There's links and resources down there. Take advantage of that while these companies are pumping out the promotions because it will not last forever. Just like the ride that we're seeing in the stock market and Apple, it will not last forever. Take advantage while it's here. Thanks so much for watching. Check out our other channels and links down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.